cayenne pepper. Guaranteed not to rip, tear, wrinkle, or fade away in the sun. Good for colds, moles, sores, holes, farts, fits, freckles, just makes childbirth a pleasure. The cayenne pepper is the miracle pepper plant. Whatever. And I'm learning all sorts of stuff about it. And I'm really excited. And I've made some um, infused oil that I've been working on for a while. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with it. Stick around. Please. Okay, so one of the things that I've learned the hard way when you're working with cayenne, grinding it up or cutting cayenne, you know, fresh cayenne peppers or whatever, um, even working with the dried stuff, you want to use protection for your eyes, your breathing, and your skin. So I'll be back and show you what I do before I grind it up. Okay, some of you think that this might be a little bit overkill, but I was really, really sorry last time that I worked with cayenne peppers. And I didn't have any of this stuff. So, here I go. Okay, that was kind of a joke, but seriously, folks, um, you are going to want to use some kind of protection on your hands, rubber gloves or whatever, um, because you do not want to be rubbing your eyes later or any other parts of your body, for that matter. But, and also, breathing it in, like if you're grinding it, the the dust particles or the pepper particles are getting float and get up into your lungs and your sinuses and might be a good thing if you're stuffed up but um yeah it's it's not pleasant so I, I would recommend um, doing it in a well ventilated area or or seriously using just like a little paper mask or something um so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour this has been sitting like I said um for a long time I think it was supposed to sit for one month and what I used was one part powder cayenne powder to five parts oil which I used um, olive oil and so you can either leave it um, with the pepper in it or you can strain it out through cheesecloth which I'm gonna do a couple couple times and I'm gonna use this uh, for my tendonitis and my carpal tunnel and my bursitis and oh my god I sound like a really old person with a whole bunch of ailments but um Oh, it's not all going to fit in here, I'm thinking. However, uh, if it works, I am going to be Cayenne's biggest fan, because that kind of rhymed. <laughs> Anyways, um, so, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. Drink it? Should I? But they say it doesn't burn your skin, and the active ingredient in Cayenne, apparently, is capsaicin. Isn't that what they use in, like, menthol rubs and stuff like that? Capsaicin? And that's what um, makes you um, feel that burning feeling in your mouth when, when you eat a pepper. So cayenne is good for so many things. And I bought a book on it, and I've been studying up on it. It's good for your digestive system, muscle rub, um, sinuses, psoriasis, circulation, incest, in, incesticide. Insecticide. It's, it's also known, I have not had to try this, and I hope I never, ever do, but um, it can stop a heart attack. So if the person is still coherent and um, able to drink liquid, you are supposedly supposed to be able to use one teaspoon of cayenne powder to one cup of hot water, warm water, and have them drink it. And just, oh my gosh, the stuff I've read about this, I'm, I'm gonna keep pill fobs on hand with cayenne powder in them because, you know what, if we don't have a doctor to run to, and when we go up north, we're a really, really long ways away from a hospital. So I'm thinking if we're out in the woods hunting or four-wheeling or doing whatever, it, it wouldn't be a bad idea to have that on hand, just in case. Because if you can stop it until you can get to a hospital, more power to the person that used cayenne, right? Okay, so um, this, this is all this video is going to be. I'm not going to do an update on rubbing it on my skin. Um, not having any issues right now so but I will be doing a whole series on cayenne if this works good so thanks for watching pet prepper okay I lied um, I am gonna do a little sample of it because what a crappy way to end a video if you're just making something and then you're not gonna show how it works I'm probably not gonna know how it works by the time um, I end this video but what I'm gonna do is rub some of this on my skin and they say it doesn't, um, it doesn't burn like you would think it would once it's mixed with the oil. Oh, unless you get it in a uh, hangnail. That kind of hurt. Oh, it's really, really oily. But I'm thinking 
if I rub it in, let it sit for a while. Oh, I am kind of sore on my wrists, so we'll see. Maybe I'll be back in a few minutes and um, I'll be bright red. I don't know. Okay, so it's probably been about almost 10 minutes and I could I could start feeling a little something um, just a couple minutes after I put this on. It's not that cold, hot, like when you put the icy hot on or when you eat a cough drop and then you go out in the cold. Not that anybody from Arizona, Texas, any of those really nice places know what that's like, but if you eat a cough drop and you go out in the cold, it's like whew, and when you put the icy hot on, it's, you you feel it, like you have goosebumps, but it's hot. It's not like that, but you, you can definitely feel something, so I'm thinking not such a bad thing. It's more natural and um, cheaper, especially if you can, you know, grow your own cayenne, and, um, and I tasted it. I... I did that like right away after I hung up, hung up, stopped recording last time and there's no burn and it didn't burn my skin so that's a plus because I don't really like the feel of the, the Bengay or the Icy Hot so I think I'm going to give this a go. Thanks for watching.